What to do if you're attacked by a dog? Ah, yes, the dog. Also called canine, bow wow, flea bag, critter, beast, puppy, mongrel, setter, varmint, wiener dog, pooch, fido, chomper, hound, fur baby, dog, mutt, and canis familiaris. Did I leave any nicknames out? Please add it to the comments below. By the way, I knew someone who once, years ago, named her dog Mr. President. This way, she could tell the dog to sit, Mr. President, roll over, Mr. President, get off the couch, Mr. President. Good dog. Alas, we don't usually expect any threat from an adorable creature that's been rightly dubbed our best friend. But never forget that, first of all, dogs are animals and they have animal instincts. And if they haven't been trained properly by their owners to be sociable with other animals and people, then even the friendliest looking pooch can attack you if something goes wrong. Before you find out what exactly you should do if you come across an aggressive dog, or even one, what to do if a dog doesn't attack but acts aggressively. A dog's body language can speak volumes if you know what signs to look for. For example, if a dog's ears are tightly pressed back against his head and it's growling, guess what? You better stay away. Don't approach such an animal unless you want to provoke an attack. But if avoidance fails and the dog still looks ready to charge at you, remember the following. Do not try to calm the dog down or smile at it. Animals perceive a smile differently than you do. While a smile means friendly intentions to a human, a dog will think that you're baring your teeth to challenge it. Avoid direct eye contact and sudden movements. The best strategy will be to ignore the dog. It'll eventually calm down and stop paying attention to you. In other words, the more you show your anxiety and flail your arms, the more likely the dog is to attack. If there's someone around, you may try to ask for help, but don't raise your voice. Keep it calm and low-pitched instead. Do not swing a stick at the dog or use pepper spray. First of all, the wind can spoil your plans and blow the spray right into your own eyes. Besides, these actions probably won't scare the dog away. On the contrary, such behavior will make the dog more aggressive. Let's admit it, even a friendly pup won't be happy if you start swinging your arms or throwing sticks at it. Retreat slowly and carefully. Remember the main rule of getting away from an aggressive dog. Do not turn your back to the animal. It's better to move away with your side to the dog. You'll be able to see both where you're going and the dog's reaction. Do not run. This will awaken the dog's hunting instincts. It'll start to chase you and you won't be able to outrun it. Most dogs can charge faster than Usain Bolt. Number 2. What to do if a dog attacks. An animal always attacks for a reason. At the same time, their reasons aren't always obvious. For example, stray dogs usually attack if they're hungry or if they're protecting their puppies or territory. If you've done everything possible to prevent the dog from charging at you and it still attacks, you need to remember the following rules. Do not shout at the dog, even if you can't think of anything else to do. The dog will perceive shouting as a sign of aggression, and this will only make the animal angrier. If you have an ultrasonic dog repellent on hand, use it immediately. This device emits high-frequency sound waves as soon as you switch it on. You won't hear a sound, but the dog will. This type of noise irritates animals and makes them feel uncomfortable. That's why, if you're lucky, the dog will run away. If the dog charges at you, try to cover its head with your jacket or sweater as soon as the animal gets within your reach. While the dog is distracted, make your retreat. 
Try to put an object, such as a tree, post, bench, or your neighbor, between you and the animal. Well, maybe not your neighbor. If there's an opportunity, you can even climb a tree. The dog won't be able to follow you there. Just watch out for aggressive squirrels. If you don't have any outerwear with you, throw your bag or any object you have on hand to the side. This will distract the dog. As a result, the animal may attack the object first, giving you some time to run away. And if you have some food in your shopping bag or your lunchbox, for example, a turkey sandwich or a piece of sausage, throw it to the dog. Maybe that's what the animal wants from you anyway. If you haven't managed to distract the dog and it's still after you, cover your neck with your hands. The neck is one of the most vulnerable parts of the human body. There are too many major arteries and veins there to leave it unprotected. If you realize you'll be bitten no matter what, the safest place for the dog to bite you is your shin or forearm. Yes, it'll hurt like crazy, but at least you'll avoid fatal bleeding. If the dog has sunk its teeth into your limb, do whatever you can to free yourself, but don't attempt to pull away. By pulling away, you can seriously worsen the injury because the dog's teeth will tear your flesh further. Instead, hit the dog on the nose or eyes. Experts also recommend grabbing the animal's hind legs and lifting them off the ground. Use your weight to press the dog to the ground with your knees or elbows. Dogs can bite, bark, and snarl, but they can't wrestle. This is why this is an effective way to immobilize the animal so you can wait until someone comes to your rescue. At the same time, the danger can escalate dramatically if you get attacked by not one, but a whole pack of dogs. Well, it's just not your day. In this case, do the same thing you would if there was just one dog. The only crucial difference here is that you mustn't let the dog surround you. Try to stand with your back to a wall or fence. Do not run. The dogs will, without a shadow of a doubt, chase after you. Because at that moment, you look to them just like a juicy tennis ball. Number 3. What to do if you've been bitten If a dog has bitten you, you must take care of the wound as soon as you're out of harm's way. Here's what you need to do. Carefully rinse the wound with soap and water. After that, swab it with alcohol ouch, to avoid infection. Despite what most people think, it doesn't matter whether you've been bitten by a stray dog or a domesticated one. Either way, you'll still have to go to the hospital for necessary testing and treatment. You'll then perhaps be vaccinated for rabies if you cannot prove that the attacking dog doesn't have the necessary vaccinations. Contrary to popular belief, this doesn't involve 20 to 30 injections to the stomach. Nowadays, only about six shots are administered in the shoulder or thigh. According to statistics, dogs are responsible for 99% of the rabies infections in people. The first symptoms of the disease appear 30 to 50 days after being infected. However, you absolutely must get a rabies vaccine as soon as possible, especially if the animal hasn't been captured and tested for rabies. If you don't get treated, the consequences will be fatal. Unfortunately, there's no cure for rabies, only preventative measures. The rabies virus can be transmitted not only through a bite, Sometimes, just a few drops of saliva from a sick animal on your skin or mucous membrane can affect you. That's why you should never let an unfamiliar dog lick your hands or face. Take care of your safety and try to stay away from stray or wild animals. But if worst comes to worst and an encounter with a stray dog can't be avoided, you now know what to do. So, have you ever had to deal with an aggressive dog? Let us know down in the comments how you managed to get out of this trouble. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, 